All right, so Infinity M45, this is a 2008. I've been talking about the VK45 dual intake system, the dual runner system, but I wanted to show you guys what it actually looks like in action. So now that I've got a partner here, my brother is gonna do this. For, you got your uh, car in, in, you've got the parking brake engaged? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got, I got monster feet that can't be dying over here. All right, so you'll start the car and at some point I'll be asking you to shift gears. But what I'll be doing in here is messing with a few things, all right? All right, so in park, go ahead and uh, start the car while in park. All right, I want you guys to watch the actuator back here. Did you see it open up immediately? Did you see that? Let me get a flashlight, although it's daylight. Could you put it in reverse? Did you see that? Put it in neutral. It opens up. See, uh, could you uh, put it in D? There you go. So what happens is that right now, this, it, back to neutral, please. When it's idling, the idling statuses, which is either park or neutral, regardless of RPM, it's going to open up. It's going to open those flaps. Again, it's one, it wants efficiency, idling efficiency. So it's going to open the flaps. But then when you start moving, when you're in, any other gear any moving gear reverse drive and any of the manual gears it closes the flaps so that you have long runners and when it closes the flaps you got low end torque but when you're driving in in, in one of those gears reverse uh drive and manual one two three four five five uh whenever you hit five thousand rpm the flaps are going to open again because at that point now you're done with takeoff you're now more efficiency, cruising efficiency. The two things that are going to mess with it. One, if this solenoid is not working well, this one right here, watch what happens. So right now it's in, it's in neutral, right? Uh, could you put it in reverse? There you go. And you can hear the car sounds different. Put it in park. Okay, so you've seen it. Now I'm going to disconnect this and see what happens. It's open, right? Okay, disconnect. Did you see that? I disconnected it, and you can see that it went back down. So I'm going to reconnect it with him. He's not messing with the gears at all. Just watch what happens. And it connected. So yeah, that's one of the things that can mess with how your VIA system works. The second thing that can mess with how your VIA system works is this. These tubes right here, these tubes, the vacuum tubes, they might have micro cracks, but I guess they're not cracked all the way through. Neither does is that one. What I'm going to do is get one of the more stable ones so I can mess with it. Is this cut here? No, it's just a color. Ah, it seems a little harder to mess with than most of that pliers. I'm gonna do this one. Yeah. At this point, I can remove it. So once I remove this, watch what happens. Vacuum there, vacuum there. It has no vacuum at all. You know, despite me doing this and this, no vacuum at all. So this vacuum is created there. And this is the vacuum that is sent through here, through here, and onto the actuator. It's still sucking my hand, my finger, onto the actuator. To use it to open the plunger. So watch what happens when I reconnect it. It's going to build up slowly. I think it builds up slowly. Because vacuum takes time to build up. Unless it's already jumped. Oh wow, it jumped so fast. Okay. Let me reconnect it again. Immediately. That is crazy. So yeah. The bias system is an interesting one, and I believe the code you get whenever you have a problem, at least with the solenoid, is going to be P1500. Now, what's the worst thing that would happen if you don't have vacuum system, vacuum tubes working properly or your solenoid not working properly? At, at worst, it's just going to idle funny. Now, listen to this again. It might not really feel like it's struggling right now, but if you have a car whose maintenance is a little fishy, and the systems are running at borderline states, then when you have something else messing with the idle, for example, your spark plugs are not doing all right, your coil packs are not 100% healthy, when you add another level of 
inconsistency, then it's going to idle very funnily. And the, the other thing is, well, I'm not gonna ask him to do it right now, but later it will. We'll dis I'll disconnect it without really telling him and then just have him drive. It should feel like it's falling flat on the low end. You're gonna say, What's, what happened to my low end? It's not taking off as strongly as I usually do. So I hope this video helps. It's one of those curiosities. I thought I was done with VK45 DEs. Then my brother went and bought one of these and man, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. So I think we'll be playing with them a little bit. I think we'll be playing with them a little bit. But hey, I hope this video helps you guys, all right? For the curious people in mind.